Inside Washington's Museum of the Bible, a single volume that is like no other. The so-called Slave Bible. Remarkable not for what's in it, but for what's not. So about 90% of the Old Testament's been removed and about 50% of the New Testament's been removed. Uh, to put it another way, a normal King James Version has 1,189 chapters in it. Uh, the Slave Bible has only 232. Missing are chapters and verses that might have encouraged uprisings. Book of Exodus, redacted. No story of Moses demanding Pharaoh, let my people go. Gone is Galatians, and the verse, There is neither bond nor free, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And no Jeremiah, woe unto him that useth his neighbor's service without wages. What they've left in are verses such as Ephesians 6.5, which is the famous verse, Slaves be obedient to your master. Looking at this Bible, it's hard to tell that anything's been taken out of it. That's correct. I mean, it looks like a normal book. For many enslaved Africans, this would have been the first time they were exposed to the Bible. A Bible selectively edited to instill obedience, using religion to underpin the horror of slavery. When people encounter this exhibit, what lasting impression do you want them to leave with? Well, we want to pass the message on that may this never happen again. Uh, the Bible itself is a, is a whole book. It's not one that you get to carve up and use this piece or that piece. The slave Bible designed to repress rebellion, but it didn't work. Enslaved people in the Caribbean constantly fought against slavery until emancipation. I think it's very relevant to understand our history. Not just American history, but our African-American history, our roots and how we got to this point. A dark chapter in the history of the good book. Jeff Bennett, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Shalom. I'm going to give all praise to the Lord to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, peace, mercy, and blessings be upon to you, brothers and sisters, who brought the four corners of earth. Uh, we're going to wait for the second coming of our goodness our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Uh, today, we're going to go into, again, another, you know, more information keeps coming out about. Um, our oppressor, and, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the slave body, okay, which is basically uh, created to keep our people in darkness, so that we won't know who our people are, it's this guy taking pictures, speak of, 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 the, of the seed of the devil, these guys over here that are like American Psycho taking pictures, man, right? Yeah, man, look at this guy, man. Look at this guy, man. This is the reason why we need a savior, man. Go ahead and go into the scripture. This is uh, Revelation 22 and 18. For I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. The reason why Esau has no problem doing this because he has no part in the city. Yep. And uh, when you really look at this history of the Bible and how it's been used and, and, um, since Esau took over there in the Renaissance period, it was used as a tool of oppression yeah. and not a tool of uh, freedom, which is really what it is. This is a, this book is a book of freedom, right, for the, uh, for, for the nation of Israel. Okay, the elect. Sorry about the yeah, elect, but the, the nation of Israel is the one who's promised uh, the freedom and, and the glory. And uh, this, for this man to go and take out, so they say it, 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 he took out what, 900 chapters out of the Bible. It was really more than that because I think they're basing it off of uh, just the King James without the Apocrypha. Right. Um, so this guy took, left with like less than 300 chapters for it to be used. Um, on our people, man, and it actually says in the publishing of the book, on the first, on the opening, on the title page, the title page literally says, the Holy Bible to be used on Negro slaves, based, and what, and that was basically an actual printed version of the Bible that they used specifically to get on our people, and this is why we always use the word plantation Christianity. Yeah. And, and it's odd that plantation Christianity is used by a lot of brothers that teach, because literally, we understand that there had to be a version or a way that they were teaching the Bible. Mm -hmm. Meaning, omitting different verses and chapters out of the scriptures and then giving it to our people. And that's the reason why our people tell us, 
oh, don't hate Esau. You shouldn't hate Esau. Right, right, right. And then Esau, we, we, we beating our people, killing us, our, our people left and right. Uh -huh. And look at the state of our people today. Yeah, you look at an individual that that uh, that has that that slave Bible with all that omitted information because the reason why that's stock. sold on Amazon is out of stock. Huh. Because the reason why they, they, they're reading like that is because of limited information. We were talking about that uh, uh, a couple weeks ago. When you're given only part of the information, you only have mm -hmm. part of the whole picture. Yep. So if that information was omitted for them, yeah, they would have their oppressors, and they have put a spirit upon our people to continue down that pathway. Now when the information comes in, when the information comes in, 2019, when the information is here, someone would take this book and say, oh, it's non-canonical. You don't need this book. But it's 400 years of history in this thing, man, that ties into the scriptures. And so even with, the, with our, uh, our ancestors that were in slavery, they didn't have what, what we would term as the regular King James with the 66 books. And so it would... It would uh, Makes sense that they don't believe that that they that they would believe the, the way that they believe that you know into their oppressors because they didn't have the, the full information. This is uh, from Second Peter chapter one and verse twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Yeah, see that? Yep, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. Yeah. Go to the right. inspired right. you're talking about. Well, well, I was just going to go into it. See, this is a main component within this in this piece is that Holy Spirit. You see, is that once that Spirit starts to be uh, uh, applied upon the brothers and sisters, certain things are going to come out that you may not read, but yeah. it be true. Yeah, yeah. It be true. And see, now they have a book that is limited with limited information, but then the spirit still rests within the people. Right. So now stuff will start coming out that they don't have in the book. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Swing low, sweet cherry. Come on, man. Home. That's wow. spiritual right there. Right. Well, yeah. You, you know? You're not reading that out of a book. Yeah. That's a spiritual thing. And you had a guy by the name of, I think his name was uh, Mitchell Higgins or uh, uh, William Higgins. He would go out in the midst of the slaves and document everything that they were seeing around the campfires and everything. Mm. They were seeing things like uh, 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 going back to the land of Canaan. The dude documented this stuff. And he was up there wondering, he said, how do these people know about the, the, the river Yordan, I mean jo jo well, Jordan, of Jordan? And he's writing this stuff down. And so he's up there looking at this thing because it's illegal for the, the slaves to read during that time. Yep. So now, where is that coming from? That's a spiritual thing right there, man. That was Satan, man. Going into what we're talking about, the reason why they knew this stuff, to say those things, because they had to have that information back in the land. That they knew that that was basically, they had to have gotten that down probably through what you call oral tradition. Yeah. Mm. Songs that they sung. Right. And then they just basically sang those some of those same songs, mm -hmm. probably translated to English, on what they, on what everybody in the plantation could understand that was in the slave quarters. Right. And they slang things stuff like swing low, sweet cherries. Mm -hmm. Because um, we, we we remember we went into the, um, the kingdom of Henry, the high king, uh -huh. and disciples that would go out and preach like a gospel. Right. Right. Message. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. the fall of that kingdom. Yep. Yep. So they had to have that thing. The, the, one of the biggest misconceptions is that our people did not have the scriptures in um, in uh, Africa. Right, right. That's a big misconception. Mm -hmm. Because when you go down even into the Congo, they had an actual depiction of Yahweh Shai crucified. I don't know if you ever seen that. Yeah, we saw, we saw, I got we it saw. the other day on uh, my phone. Yeah, they got, they, that, they, the Portuguese found that among them. Mm -hmm. An image of, of Yahweh Shai crucified. Yep. You know? So they knew, so you had people that were, even though our, some of our people were going into Islam or going into other gods, yeah. you had a remnant of our people that were familiar with the Bible and they had access to it. Mm -hmm. Even Esau teaches about Timbuktu, had books, you don't think they had the Bible? Yeah. When, the, when that was the number one religion on the, uh, uh, mm -hmm. or the most followed religion, single religion on the planet, even during the Middle Ages, all yeah. around the world. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. 
there's always a spiritual, the, the Most High always uh, left a spiritual pathway to come back into Him. Mm -hmm. So you always had remnants of people, even, even coming off the slave ships, you had certain people who still held on to certain uh, uh, culture, uh, cultural practices Correct. that were linked into the scriptures. Exactly. And so you could just line it, line it up, and then you could be like, hey, where, where does that come from? Yep. Say, man, I read, I'm reading that right in the book of Exodus. How, how do you know that? He said, well, my ancient forefathers did this and that, and we, we they studied, we, they taught, you know. A lot of this stuff was, you know, since they couldn't read, they had to speak it to each other and just send it down from line to line. That's how you have people like uh, William Sanders, who had that Hebrews uh, deal down there in uh, Tennessee, I think it was. He had a lot of lot of brothers who, in the 1800s, where they were talking about that they were Israel and everything. Yeah. That was all tradition going all the way down, man. That's how I like it. Um, they got this documentary I've seen on Amazon, on Prime. Uh-huh. Uh, this Edomite, yeah. so-called fake Jew. Yeah. But she, she uh, doing some kind of documentary. She was out there in Ghana. Uh -huh. Stumbled up on these, these Jews, these brothers practicing uh, the same religion, get ready to celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like she, like she know about it. She was wondering how did they know about it. Come on, man. And then she started going to the elders in the town, asking them about it. And they were like, yeah. at one point in time, like they all of them, everybody in the area used to practice, you know, yeah. the Jewish customs. Yep. But they eventually, a lot of them got away from it because yeah. of Christianity. Christianity yeah. came in and took a lot of them, mm -hmm. but a small group of them stuck to the, uh, stuck to the script, man. Yeah. And and they're still doing it to this day. Yeah, you got um, a lot of our people keep certain practices even till today. Yeah. You know? You go among God, they keep they still have friendships. Yeah. Even though they were trying to be um, what they say, kill the kill the Indian man inside of him or whatever. Yeah, 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 he yeah. Kill the Indian, save the man. Yeah. Right? Dang That's how he saw practice, kill the Indian, save the man, because he didn't want them to hold on to certain things yeah. that will befit them back to who they were, which we talked about right. last year, uh, last week, we can bring it up. Yeah, because you, you had you had certain things that, like the brother was talking about, there were there were certain sayings by these Indians that they would talk about oppression and, and then talking about uh, how Esau was going to be uh, uh, destroyed in the end, yep, yep. put in captivity. Yep. They have to smash that stuff out that of there. the Battle of the Wounded Knee. Battle of the Wounded Knee. One of the people that survived yep. said right. that, that, they, yep. that they know that their savior is gonna come and it's gonna take them down. Come on, man. That's a spiritual thing right there, man. These, right. these guys didn't have access to the King James yep. Version of the Bible. Yep. That's all through the Spirit. That's right. This, this book of Joshua 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, and thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Mm -hmm. So if by the Esau manipulating this Bible, man, editing it and taking out important verses of this book, you know, he's 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 causing our people, man, to to, to be in error and not to really get the fully understanding of the scriptures, man. Which would, would cause them not to prosper. Just like the scripture was saying. Mm -hmm. Now, now just to give you an idea of how this thing, like in the in the ancient world. Like we had uh, one of our ancient forefathers, his name was was uh, Manassas, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. And so he started to, to worship these other gods, and so he basically took Israel away from the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. But then after Manassas died, here comes an Israelite, Josiah. So Josiah comes in the midst. Now, with Manassas, the law was basically cast away and they adopted the ways of the heathen. Now look what look what Josiah did. Now this is under the rule of Josiah. This is Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 34 starting at the 14th verse. And when they brought out the money that was brought into the house of the Lord, Hilkiah the priest found a book of the law of the Lord given by Moses. And Hilkiah answered and said to Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord, and Hilkiah delivered the book to Shaphan. And Shaphan carried the book to the king and brought the king word back again, saying, All that was committed to thy servants, they do it. 
and they have gathered together the money that was found in the house of the Lord and have delivered it into the hand of the overseers and into the hand of the of the workmen. So basically, when they brought on that book of the Lord, they delivered it to the king and Josiah instituted the ways of the law back in two. So now look at what happened with us. We didn't have access to this. Just give us a verse. Was any terrorist clothes? Uh, in there. Terrorist clothes. Let me see where I saw that. Uh, let me start at uh, 18. Oh, oh, okay. It's further down. Let me start. This is uh, 2 Chronicles 34 and 18. Then Shaphan the scribe told the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath given me the book. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard the words of the law, that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah and Ahakam, Ahah, Ahah, the son of Shaphan, and Abaddon, the son of Milcah, and Shaphan the scribe, and Isaiah, a servant of the king, saying, Go inquire of the Lord for me and for them that are left in, in Israel and in Judah concerning the words of the book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is poured out upon us because our fathers have not kept the word of the Lord to do all to do after all that is written in this book. Pizza man. So that basically lets you know that that they, they realized that they were catching hell. They was because catching they wasn't keeping, they wasn't uh, yeah. following the Lord's yeah. word. Yeah, yeah. They, because they wasn't following those the law, the ways of the Lord. In fact, he said, like, "Get all that is yeah. left in Judah and Israel." Yeah. Meaning that a lot of y'all already got it. In. Yeah, they already yeah. been scattered due to the that was done. activities. These, these people, our people, was basically done at this time, man. Manasseh they had them all the way into idolatry, mm -hmm. and so and, and it lets you know how deep into idolatry they were because they had to find the book. Yeah, they had to find the book. They already had the book they available. Have, they didn't have it available. So no nobody. family was teaching it in Israel? Nothing. Nothing. They had to find the it. The priests didn't even know about it. They was done. People that were priests in Israel, they were just... Yep. They only read no law or nothing. Nothing. They were, People was just doing what they do. It was like, oh, hey, oh, you Buddha? Yeah, oh, hey, I'm a Buddha, so... Oh, you, 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 you going after Zoroastrianism or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we over here, we, we worshiping Moloch. Yeah. They, they was doing all that stuff, man, and there was no order until Josiah came in and had to set that thing. When right. he read it, he realized this is why we going through this. This is why we going, through. and that's the reason why he signed to remove. Yeah. Remember, they only had access back then to the first five books. Yep. Um, Psalms, maybe if they were, if they had it readily throughout after the time of David. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Proverbs. Maybe Wisdom of Solomon. Maybe. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. But they just had the, the first five books alone. Just alone, the first five books will make you be like, damn. Yep. Just alone, just the books of Moses, just the, right. just the law of Moses. So you can imagine my Esau just taking out that and really only giving Genesis. I think in there said Genesis in there. Genesis. And that was really it. Because you can't have Deuteronomy and Leviticus. You definitely can't have numbers. Genesis, I seen Proverbs, uh, and, uh, the, all the Gospels, Matthew, John, and Mark. This is why Esau took it out because he didn't want a man to have this reaction. Right. On the plantation. Yeah. And the like man it. read that and he saw that them. Yeah. You read Deuteronomy 28, it's over. It's over with. Yep. They have to take they have to take it out because see they, they can relate. Yeah, they can relate to it. And, and it's all spiritual. Yep. It's all spiritual. So when they read it, that's just like when Jake read it today. They can see, they can see the, the spiritual correlation. This is like, man, we catching hell over here. Yep. Man, we doing this is just like it's written inside of Deuteronomy. Yep. He, he saw new, just like in the book of Judah, they had stated that if they was to, um, you know, as long as they got their power on their side, you know, Israel, Israel can't never be defeated. Yeah. So if they manipulated that book, man, and keep keep uh, keep the children of Israel, man, far away from the Most High as they can, they can they can manipulate them. They can use them as they, as they want. Yep. This is uh, let me get the uh, piece right here. This is where Esau wouldn't want you to know this prayer from Solomon. Now we read part of it last week, but we didn't read the rest of it. So we're gonna go down to verse uh, verse Kings chapter eight, start at verse forty four. If thy people go out to battle against the enemy, their enemy, whithersoever thou shalt send them, 
and shall pray unto Yahweh toward the city which thou hast chosen, and toward the house that I have built for thy name. Then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy far or near, which is what our people would have been on the plantation realizing yep. just off of this alone. Yep. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captive, mm -hmm. and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and have done per perversely, that we have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with their all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, with which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and supp their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, and all their transgressions wherein thou hast transgressed against they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them that carry them captive, that they may have compassion on them, for they be thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest forth out of the, out of Egypt from the midst of the furnace of fire. Man, that's that's those are words right. Those are words of hope right there. So your oppressors have to keep stuff out of that scripture like mm -hmm. that, man, because that gives them a spirit of hope. And so what the oppressor wants to do is to yep. keep that hope away from you, man. And really, when you read it, they're supposed to have compassion on us, man. Yep. Right? So, and you right. know that Esau ain't got no compassion because it says he, that he showed no pity to the old or to the young. So Esau actually supposed to be, he's supposed to have came up with the reparation, man. So yeah, he's supposed to have basically said, hey, you have to go back to y'all's man. We're sorry. You're supposed to do, you're supposed to do like uh, Cyrus did. Yep. Because so you have the power on earth. Yeah. You're supposed to move the Amalekites, right. everybody off the land. Yep. You're supposed to do a decree like Cyrus and say, hey, give them back their land. Right, right, that's right. Let us uh, worship their God. Yep. So, so, now, do that. so now all these black Christian pastors, Hispanic pastors, y'all need to go in and see if y'all follow the doctrine of this Bible, the, you know, the, 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 the pattern that this Bible was laid out to follow. You know, this edited Bible, you know, y'all need to see if y'all follow this same pattern that this Bible was meant for y'all to leave. Come on, bro. You know, because that's exactly what they're doing. That's what they have to be doing. Yeah, they, they have to be. following that slave Bible, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's right. Follow that slave Bible. You, 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 you know, they're going to start doing. calling y'all slave Bible preachers, man. Right, yep. that's right. Y'all slave Bible preachers, man. So they need to step back and look, man, and see, and realize what they're doing. Yep. And, and, and the seminary schools that are... Stick with them saying yep, that's challenge. right. That's what they doing. Dodging all this is in here, but they teaching them how to dodge it now. Never heard you run yeah. today ever until I got never. this thing. Ever. They I it's never in heard there. Them it's in there. The run me even at all. But they tell them it don't apply. That don't mean this. That don't mean that. They showing them how to dodge it. Mm -hmm. That's why I, they had to. Um, when you look at what they did, they had to create a people that they said is the Jews, and then what they did is they had a whole media thing conspiracy. To, uh, the Ben Hur, the yep. Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments was on the other day. I was watching the Ten Commandments the other day because of yeah, Easter. the Easter thing. Yeah. Tell them yeah, about the, the conference of 1825. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 1825. That. They took out the apocrypha out of all Bibles. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was uh, the decision was made, this but it was official 1885. Yeah, yeah. Go Offici ahead and do it. Uh, yeah, officially in 1885 that they, the Berlin Conference. The brother yeah. had brought this up before we started up, man. During the Berlin Conference. They came together, and that thing was to be wiped out completely out of each brand new publication, man. Mm -hmm. So that's why this book right here was foreign to people. Mm -hmm. They was just only getting the 66 books and missing the four, the 14 right here, man. So he saw tell you that it was non-canon, non-inspirational. Uh, why right. was this man be the one to tell you whether or not it is when it's not even the book was not even written to his people? Come on, bro. Come get on. that. You should, uh, what's that? Psalms 50 and 16. Get that real quick if you can. What you looking yeah. for? Yeah, I was going to pull up. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to pull up there. Uh, yeah. Let me just get it. Verse 16. Yeah, these guys, man, like, how you going to, uh, why would I want to know why, uh, why would I want to listen to our oppressor on anything, man? 
Right. This it's is a persona non grata, man, when it comes to these scriptures. Go ahead. Huh? This is Psalms 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, What has thou to do to what has thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. Come on, man. When thou sawest a thief, then thou thou consented consented right. with him and has been a partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue from it deceit. Come on, man. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou thou standardest standardest thy own mother's mother's son. Come on, man. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Your own mother's son, man. Jacob. That's right. So and, and, and to go back into what the brother was saying, just like the oppressors say that this apocrypha, they state that it's non-inspirational. What does that mean? What does that mean, non-inspirational? Now, this is the definition of the word inspire. To feel someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something. When you start to read about your oppressors going down, it may not, the, the one who's oppressing will not feel what the oppressor is feeling. Uh, the word inspire simply means to put in breath. Right. To breathe in. To breathe in or inhale. Now, yep. now, now look, look, look at the synonym. To breathe life into. Yep. And it says, especially to do something creative. Synonyms. To encourage. Yep. To influence. To rouse. To move. Come on. To stir up. So they want, come on. Come on. They don't want you to be moved. They don't come want on, you to be stirred up. They don't want you to be encouraged, man. No, hold on, Ot. Go on here. Go on here. Get <laughs> hold on, bro. You, you about to kill him with this one. You about to kill him with this one, bro. Hold on, bro. This is, this is heavy. This is Ezekiel 37. <laughs> Starting up, we'll just go ahead and go to verse, verse 8. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. <laughs> mm. No inspiration. <laughs> then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith Yahweh, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the oh. slain that they may live. Oh, come on. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and they stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. So that book does inspire somebody. <laughs> Inspires the Israelite. That's what it inspired. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. That was a good one. Straight we, cut. Let, let get this man, let man. Get, what is that? Straight Whis cut. Man, bro. They don't want that breath of life to come in, bro. Nah. It's too late, no. <laughs> it's too late, man. Once the word got out, the gospel got out, it's through. It's the beginning of the end. <laughs> That's it. That's it, man. Bye bye, Babylon. Done. These boys is through. You're through, man. Because you can you can you can take out and prison kill the brothers and sisters that believe. Where's the sand of the sea for that can't be numbered for a multitude, man. That's your, right. your days are numbered, man. You have a balance that you cannot pass. And they know it, man. Yep. They That's know. why they, the Navy um, just put out a thing um, about that that new hires are going to have to start reporting the UFO sightings. Yep. You know, they're going to start pointing out new UFO sightings because they're worried, man. Man, this is a uh, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon 15, starting at the 10th verse. His heart is as ashes. This is what Jake is, his heart is as ashes without his, his without Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. His heart is as ashes. His hope is more vile than earth and his life of less value than clay. For as much as he knew not his maker and him that inspired on, into man. him an active soul. Uh, Come on, bro. Uh, Bring, on, that <laughs> Bring that heat. Bring that heat. <laughs> That's, that's bro, some heat right there, boy. That's major heat right there. That him that inspired <laughs> into him an active soul and breathe in a living spirit. Come on, bro. It's inspirational, bro. <laughs> There's a reason why Esau does not want this word to touch our people, bro. Come on, that's man. Right. 
He can't have us get this word because he's through. Yeah. You are inspired and you know our people are zealous. Hey man, when the most high like the brother right now, he breathed that breath into you, man. Hey, it's it's it's, it's what's that word? Uh uh. Well, it was shoot, it's just game over for you. Game over. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, it's game over. It's game over for Esau, bro. That's why these guys is trying to right. send guys like James White and Vol Vol Cal Malone spends is spending the rest of his life battling against Israelite groups. Uh -huh. That's it. That's what does he do for a living? This guy's just he ain't got enough followers to make money off of living off of YouTube. Come on, man. This boy's a straight up agent. Hey, this dude traveling all over the place. Yeah, bro. Get dude, yeah, dude traveling with the travel to that sign. Yeah, yeah. That dude got to have backing to do that, man. You don't, you don't just go out there and just travel all over the world just to battle his life. I think he'd be over here in California uh, uh, trying to uh, battle with Sakari and then come over here to New York and battle with GMS. Man, you got to have bread to do that. Man. Exactly. You can't just be flying everywhere, man, and, and just and, doing this. And he, all you got is just a few uh, coon, coons that follow you, man. G-Man and all the... Crazy coons looking for looking for a, 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 a acceptance from Esau from their master. It's crazy, man. And these these people these people are done, man. Really through, man. Okay, man. You bring out your Bible, man. You bring out your Bible. I mean, your slave you Bible. That, you see this uh, the Sakari that uh, they do from Arizona that infiltrated his conference. No, you ain't see it. No, Sakari then was doing an interview with one of their brothers in. Uh, in Arizona? In Arizona, and he was had a conference in Arizona. So he infiltrated and went inside in the class. And he say, Vocab just kept focused on him, just waiting on him to interrupt. But he said he, he didn't never do nothing, he was just listening. <laughs> and just, he was just talking, he was just telling what was going on in there and stuff. And see, man, hey, hey. Cause they, they talking about the Israelites and all kind of stuff. That, cause you, uh, well, one thing, one thing is for sure, is that these Christians, they had to step their game up That's because right. they were getting decimated out there on, on, on these corners by by Jay. Right. Yeah, yeah. They, they couldn't. They couldn't hold it. They got that that one black pastor that Sakari just totally annihilated. This dude, he losing followers. Oh yeah, yeah. That big chubby one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Man, the dude, the dude looks like he he's been studying on Israelites. He goes into a little history and everything, but yet he's following a false doctrine. And man, look, the truth. The, the, the most high, the the most high not with him, man. When you follow a false doctrine, the most high ain't dealing with you. He ain't yep. dealing with them dudes. He's not going to help you in any type of debate. Yep. He's not on your side. He's done, bro. Them dudes hurt, man. They, they they licking wounds now, man. And so yep. and so they have to find little needles in the haystack, you know, against Israelites. And, and you know, they may find a few uh, needles in the haystack, but, you know, brothers just have to have understanding of the scriptures to be able to come up against that right. stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because there's certain scriptures that these Christians are looking at that brothers haven't looked at. Yep. And then they'll stumble you in little debates and things like of that nature. And then, you know, you got to be, you know, operating in the spirit. Get, get that understanding, man. And uh, be able to come back with the boys, man. But uh, rest assured, man, these Christians, they can, they, they, they can step in their game up yep. and they lie. Yep. You know, a strong lie can, be, can, can more than likely be the, a novice in the truth, man. Yep. You know, so you just gotta keep your keep your game on lock. Yeah, you gotta just sharpen this thing, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, it, it was it was a lot of that. There was a lot of that being stated. I remember when we first saw it coming on the block, the brothers was talking about being sharp and being sharp, being sharp. But you know, you gotta be sharp in truth. <laughs> That's right. Because a lot of people start, you know, they, they even in the Israelite uh, piece, man, you got a lot of people teaching wrong doctrines and. You show up in an uh, individual up in a lie. That's right, man. And so he constantly coming with uh, a lie, and then so these Christians come in and mow you down. Yep. Like like uh, Ricard in GOCC. Yeah. He let James White come through like a uh, like a, a Mack truck. Yeah, that dude truck. was on the ground up there asking, oh, anybody get that license plate? Mack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anybody get the license plate of that Mack truck? You, you should, uh, that right there, you should have James White be the leader of GLCC. Yeah, he, he should have just gave up his, his position, man. Right, he right. He should have just taken it. He should have stepped down right after that debate and said, look, you're the leader of GLCC now. Yeah, yeah, man. He, he <laughs> stumped that boy, they man. on the same dock. Come on, yep. bro. Yeah, yeah, on the same dock. On the same dock. The Levi makes you the same. That, that, so, slave, uh, that slave Bible dock. Yeah, forgive that enemy. Woo! That's like you saw what you saw on the plantation, man. Didn't get Bible no context in, he didn't actually value the precept into the law who, who your who, uh -huh. uh, who your neighbor is. Come on, man. But he took it out in the slave body. That's why he took your, your, we your needed to go into slavery. That's what made us a better person. 
<laughs> the slave Bible yep. doctrine. I've heard Jake say that. that yeah, that me we too. Were better off uh, from from uh, if we'd have never went into slavery, we wouldn't be yeah. where we at today. Yeah, more than got this Christianity. They sound like Nathan and Corral. We'd have been better. You get promised out to the wilderness to die. Slave we should have stayed with the Egyptians. Then we had leeks and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fried chicken and <laughs> chicken watermelon. Like man, come on, man. Yes. Pork rinds. Yeah, pork. <laughs> we eating gator tails and all kind of stuff up in there. <laughs> Joker sick in the mug, man. Don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Joker went out to the swamp and, and, and cooked up a frog. You like, man? What are you eating? Frog legs? What? what, what? Where you get that from, bro? Man. Man, the Egyptians told me that. Oh, man. <laughs> Our people are really through. Right. Hey, it's through, man. This is, we're, we're, we're really destroyed, man. Uh, really, it just says we're dead. Yeah, yeah. When you go through scriptures, it really just says we're dead. Oh, yeah. All through scripture, it says we're dead. It just, it's always alluded that we're basically zombies. Zombies in this thing, man. And we're just zombies. We're zombies. And it all go back to that, that uh, slave Bible, man. Yep. 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 That doctrine that been pushed in their head that the law is done away with. Yep. Do what you want to do. All nations Free be will. saved. All nations be saved. This the reason Forgive why. Forgive your enemy. Yep. Mm -hmm. All that stuff, all that stuff, all it leads to is more and more wickedness. That's why you got Jake's out here. That's right. Turning transgender. Yeah. All, you, bro, you can see it all over uh, the place. All right? over the place, man. You walk down, you feel me. We were just talking about young mom, and like about ten minutes later, come on, lady, girl walking with her girl, uh, young mom walking with the, with the um, girlfriend. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And, and and Jake got a Jake releasing that Democrat liberal stuff. That liberal. Y'all, they they ain't pegging you directly to that whole LGBT group. Yep, yep. When they go and talk, if they go and, if, if them Democrats went to go talk to some East Indians in Sugar Land, they ain't coming and telling them you gotta support LGBT. Right. They're gonna just say we need your vote. Right. You're the immigrant community, yada, yada, yada. When they come to you, you say, hey, well, I want reparations. They're like, well, what about LGBT? No, they're gonna be like, what about LGBT? We gotta, we gotta be, uh, you know, we got to have that, 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 uh, that, the spirit, man, uh, it bring us back on track, you know, brother. I heard one of them say I want to hear what an Edomite pastor got to say. I really want to. Exactly. I want to go to second Baptist. Right. Yeah. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this. Yeah. You done gave this religion to our, this, our, our the, to our people, and then they taught their kids the same Negro right. slave Bible. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing they preach today in these churches, man. That same doctrine that's in that book. That's why the they same are, doctrine. That's why they. they you know what? Do you write out? They, yeah. they might as well have that same book yep. because yep. they'll never go into uh, no, the, other scripts, the Obadiahs. Yeah. They'll never go into that. Yep. Man, they never go into that stuff, bro. Yep. I they never even knew heard the word Obadiah said until I came into the truth. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, I mean, as far as it being taught. Yeah. I, mean, I just read it before. Read the book. Yeah, yeah. Like, back in 2004 when I was trying to read the Bible. But I didn't have no... Understand it was almost but, like you go to Esau... He'd be like, oh, that's the, the Old Testament's done away. Yeah, yeah. So then you start uh -huh. focusing on New Testament old. Yeah, yep, that's right. That's that, um, that's that doctrine. And they tell you the Bible is the Roman Catholic Church, man. Yeah. Because you know that, you know, in the Catholic Catholicism, they don't really read the Bible. But they follow the same doctrine at the Catholic Church. Yeah, the same hol holidays. Same holidays that the Catholic Church set up. Yep. Same so called Sabbath day that the Catholic Church set up. Yep. Same exact setup, man. Only thing they ain't got, they ain't got an intricate uh, bishops and all that stuff. Fathers, yep. Reverend fathers, making them, and ain't making them billions like the Catholic Church. Bro. Man, it, it was just, it's, it's kind of funny because that the, the, the pastor that I, I deal with at my job, man, he he was up there in the midst of. You, you just talking about slave Bible? Uh, oh, no, yeah, well, you don't no, know. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely totally hit him with that slave Bible. But, but see, he was under these, <laughs> these it, 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 my pastors, man. And uh, and and like I was, I would always say, I said, man, these your enemies, bro. You know, you don't want to deal with that. He's like, no, nah, man, you know, you got to love everybody and all this type of stuff. So he saw, he saw pulled up, you know, pulled off his hood and uh, let the let the horn show. Yep. And, and, and the pastor left that church and when he went to a uh, Iskarite church. Cause he he an Iskarite, so now he done left that Edomite pastor and went to an Iskarite church. I say, well, why are you leaving? 
He's like, I don't like the way that they will operate. I say, but you told me that was your pastor. You're supposed to hear your pastor. So he gave him some counsel concerning his kids. Love that pastor. And he told he told that pastor, he told that pastor, I know his the head pastor told this pastor, he say, he say, just let it go. Just let it go. Some dude was trying to mess with his daughter at the thing. And so and he and, and, and the dude was like, just let it go. And so he got pissed off because it was an Edomite trying to get with his daughter. Come on, man. So he said, let it go. He's like, so you telling me to let this go? Well, how would you feel if if uh, if if a so-called Mexican came and tried to deal with your wife? Would you what and I was counseling you, and if I told you just let it go, would you let it go? He's like, no, you wouldn't. So he got mad because that counsel was bad on him. Yeah. And I say, what other counsel you think he was gonna give you, man? Yeah. He's dealing with his own. He not and on you your dealing side. with your own. You're, you're a second class, you're a third, third, yeah, second, third class citizen. Bruh, you have in their own church. In their own church, man. And Jake be knowing it because um, remember the article that came out last year mm -hmm. about how increasingly so-called black people are leaving white churches. Yep. Yep. Remember that? Yep. And the reason yep. why is because of the disconnect with the whole police brutality and all that stuff, how they don't really understand their oppression. Yeah. And I remember when I was in Austin, I, uh, when I was uh, when I was young, like in my early twenties, I was going to a church. Of course, Austin just all people. It's like mainly Edomites. Yeah. So if you can go to a church, unless you go to like certain places, like the East Side, you can go there. Yeah. But I went to one particular church one time with someone that I knew. And you start going to their little Bible studies and stuff, and they over here just putting, just over skipping like the experiences that yeah. Jake has here. Yeah, they don't want to. They don't, they don't want to talk about, about it. it they man. don't want to talk about that, bro. And it's just like how are you gonna be saying you're a brother or a sister or somebody, but these, but they go through certain things on campus. You come to them, you're like, man, I done have got you through some racist stuff on campus. Right. They just say, forgive your enemy. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they do. And, man. But the same time when I was there. These Edomites at that church were talking about bomb, bomb uh, the whole Middle East. Right. Come on, man. This is during they, the time of the whole uh, they, they invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan. They, they so you see the hypocrisy gave, in these They never gave uh, Bin Laden from uh, flying the planes into the trains. And they did it. Yeah. The Edomites did it themselves. Yeah. They used them as a proxy to do that 9-11. Yep. Yeah. Because even they made, they talked about it on that movie. Was it true or was it? Was it true? There's a movie that came out like in the, a couple years before that where they said we're gonna bomb, we're gonna destroy the Twin Towers and blame it on the Arabs. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They sure did. They sure did. I forgot the name of the movie. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what that was, man. Yeah. So, they, they, they tell you, man. Yeah. They, the, the scriptures talk about that their 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 mouth oh. shall fall, fall upon themselves. Oh, yeah, the, tongue, yeah, they tongue. the tongue shall fall upon themselves. Which is, which is exactly what happened with the slave Bible being. That's about. right. Yep. The Most High put it in them and bothered them and made them bring it out. Because yeah. they really didn't need to do it to touch it this time. Yeah, right. They, had, they set up a whole museum. Like, if you go, there's actually a place where you could go where they have it. Yeah. You could go into a room and they would give you the history of the slave body. They lie so good, though, to where they believe it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They lie so good and deceptive to where they believe in it. Like, we ain't in right, we ain't in uh, slavery no more. We not in it being oppressed no more. Yep. They believe that. So that's why they brought it out. Like slavery is a thing of the past. It ain't had no effect on nobody. Everybody moved, moved on. Yeah, moved on. That's, moved why they're, that's why that's why they feel okay with bringing it out. Yeah. Oh, remember? They believe that. And they bring out the thing in DC. Um, Oprah invented and, and, and invested into it. The, the African American Museum. Oh yeah. And it had like all the slavery. Uh -huh. It had the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. they've been they've been low key. And then um, the the Congress passed a bill of the 400 year commemorating the 400 year anniversary mm -hmm. from 1619 of slavery. Yeah. Which, there's a whole different thing with that. You know, they, they, they might be thinking something different, of course, as to why they're commemorating that, because they're pretty much letting people know, be on your P's and Q's with these people, because some stuff is about to go down. Yeah, yeah. They'll let it out, because when they, they, they start letting some stuff out, because they know that they got to, they got to. Yeah, they uh, feel like we're in that range of, of time of, uh, mm -hmm. of the most high coming back. Yep, and so they feel like, okay, we can let it out, because, man, it's about to go down anyway. About to go down in, so they'll be like, "Hey, let's let let's let hey, open up the bag. We don't care, yeah, because we gonna mow these guys down. That's how that's how they looking at it, man. Mm -hmm. You get when you look at that, that when that National ID Act came out that they just pushed out. They said by October 2020, everybody is gonna have that. It, it, it's mandatory that everybody have that National ID card. Mm -hmm. So that thing is it's coming to a head, man. So they just bringing it out. Jake is so. 
much with his head to the ground, man. He's just like, oh, okay, yeah, let me yeah. take it. Oh, and then next thing you know, they're going to be like, well, you're going to need to have this card with this card. Then we're going to get rid of that card. And then we'll put that chip in your hand. Then Jake's going to be like, okay, yeah, just give it here, man. So we can go on there and do this. Just give it here. Just give yeah, it here. Jake, Jake is just... Jake has got this head. You, you go on the internet, man, and you realize that Jake is like, I mean, every, it's, it's like every little thing, Jake looks at it just like, like a, a moral victory and turns it into a victory. Arguing with these Edomites on Facebook by reparations. Oh, oh man. man. That get on, on my nerves. That get on Edomites nerves. don't give a damn, man. Listen. One Edomite said, well, you're going to have to put the, uh, you're going to have to, well, you guys, how about you guys pay reparations to the Dutch because the Africans had the Dutch in slavery. I was like, man, y'all wasting y'all time with these Edomites, man. These Edomites don't believe that stuff. Nah. nah but they just be ranting on, boy, like just talking, throwing stuff out there. Just talking, man. These dudes are through. You're going to have to pay reparations to the Dutch first because you had you guys had them in slavery. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Man, these people are through. So, he, so he, they admitted that Swartz Pete, Pete, Pete was a real man? Yeah, I guess so. That's what they probably would They probably admitted that Swartz Pete really was holding it down and was was dominating. That's why they make fun of him. You know about them Moors. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah they messing with the Moors, man. The Moors up there backing them dudes up in that stuff, bro. That's what's so crazy. These Moors up there trying to say that... They wouldn't even uh, get sleep. Like, through, bro. Psalm 64. Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Yep. Seeing that that tongue is falling upon himself, man. Right. He's letting out. He's letting out. He's letting out. man. shouldn't have let that out. Y'all was just trying to um, change the textbooks over here in Texas to say that uh, yeah, there was a, there was in, 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 in digital service. Yeah, uh, so the Bible actually going to do more damage, a lot of damage. Yep. All any uh, any. It's already sold out. Paperback and on. Yeah. Uh, on, on. I already knew. I didn't was going to attempt to get the paper, but but I wanted to get the PDF because I already yeah. knew that stuff was going to be sold out as soon as that PDF came out. free to download. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You did. You send that suck up to uh, one of them uh, book uh, makers like over there, uh, Office Depot. Just get that sucker printed out for yourself, right? Shoot, there. man. If you ever make that collage, bro, put that first page on there. Yeah. Holy Bible uh, for this, this Negro slave. Uh -huh. Come on, man. That's when, these, when these Christians come up, they're going to have to address that. Yeah. Hey, hey. Like, explain this, Mr. Christian. Educated in theology school. Explain this. What does that mean? Yep. What is this pertaining to? Oh, well, that was a thing of the past. Yeah, that, that's yeah, they, that's they go to. That's their go-to. But you know what? We got a go-to, too, in Ecclesiastes. We have Jesus now. The Lord requires now. that, that which is bad. We have Jesus yep. now. <laughs> most high had beef with Babylon, man. He had serious beef with him. And most high told King Saul, I remember what Amalek did when we were in the way. Yeah. So this thing is going, this thing is going. You going to get y'all. That thing is going. <laughs> hey, that, that book is opening up on you boys, man. Yep, it is. He saw that book is opening up on you. What's that old song? It's about to go down. It's about to go down. That's some, it's some wild stuff, man. The oppressor done had his time, man. Boy, you know, you get you look at this like on the Sabbath, man. Just in just on the Sabbath, man, you Hey, we got to go in here, you know, I'm, man, Jake is subject to payments, bro. Yep. Gotta we go out here, ball. have to mess with these doggone meters and all this stuff out here, bro. Then they hit you, they wait for you, your time expired, then hit you right when you're tired. You be like, God, hey, man. It's like, boy, he's he's that ordinance, man, for you to follow. Yeah, man, he saw, he saw, he saw got, got traps over here, man. They got tons of traps. But you know what? All that stuff is gonna fall right back on yeah. your head. It's gonna be double. It's all done, man. It's just a matter of time, right now. Yep. It's just, it's, it's, time is just it's coming to a head, and and even with that, man, Jake, Jake, you gotta get prepped up. You got to have your faith built up, man. You got to build up that treasure, the treasure right, of man. the Lord. Meaning those laws, statutes, and commandments, yep. that yep. wisdom and that knowledge. That's right. Like the scriptures say. Uh, the Most High loveth none that dwelleth with wisdom, man. None but that dwelleth with yeah, wisdom. Yeah, none but that dwelleth with wisdom. That's right. You got to have that, That's man. That's right. Because, you know, when that time comes, man, uh, like the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the, the stability of the time. 
And you will have to have that man right. during that time. Yeah, when we go into uh it's amazing, man. Because more stuff is revealed all the time, man. It's only our captivity. And it's crazy because, you know, going go into that lesson, that, that video, that guy said that uh, there was no mention of Moses, no mention of none of these people. Heck, yeah. we definitely know no mention of King David. Yeah. But they had to remove Psalms and you know they didn't have Samuel in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay? So what does that prove? Yeah, they, they had to add that. Thing. That proves Job chapter 9, verse 24. Yep. The earth is given into hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not where, then who is he? Yep. Yep. That's he, right. he, he, he told on himself, man. Yep. He, yep. He, he proved to you that he, he covered, the, he covered the, who the judges were. Yep. Right, man. He covered it. He didn't let you know about your, your past about what we went through, about why we're in the current condition that we're in. He keeps on telling us that we need to be all one people while mistreating us. Right, right. It gets worse and worse for our people each day. Proved even more so that he's the devil, man. That's yeah. the Bible speak of. That's right, that's right. Well, he's, he's definitely a spawn of Satan. Right. And it's true, bro. I know the boys, we, that, that mantra, that boys we hear from GMS, or really one West, you know? He saw is the devil. It was the devil and Satan. Hey, that's, yep, that's it's right. It's a, 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 a main entity, but there's many devils. There's many there's many devils, yeah. <laughs> Jake yeah. can be a devil. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That was the first one to hold, to hold all that late Bible come to tell you yep. what it means. That's right. So you don't get that you don't get that work, man. See, you see Judah taking over that UFC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you so gonna get that, that work. work. So, he gonna, so you know you're gonna get that work, man. You better keep his muscle up. And hey, it remind, remind me of them rap, them battle raps. There's a, there's, there's a dude <laughs> named Loaded Lux. That was his phrase. Boy, about to get that work. About to get that yeah. work. <laughs> You better take a good look at the sign, man. That's right. You know who we are about. You know, you know, no introduction, man. Nice. Nah, if you can the read, news ain't you know showing you, but y'all seen it everywhere y'all go, man. You can read. You know where we are. Every Saturday. No agitation, man. Yeah. I'm telling them that they, that they, America ain't gonna be great again, man. America's gonna be uh, Done. a land of uh, wa of uh, wild birds, man. It's gonna be barbecue. Yep, that's it. Right. You know, this says in the scriptures, man. Yep. No Dragons. moths. No, no moths, man. What you got? Yeah, yeah this, 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 but lizards and spiders are going to be in this place. Yeah, that's all it is, man. This is uh, this is Matthew 26 and, and 6. It says, Now when Yahweh Shah was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ornament and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this woman might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath brought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this woman on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. And with that, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to the power of Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.